Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was supposed to be a huge hit, but now it's becoming one of the biggest flops in gaming history. What went wrong? Today, we're diving deep into why Season 3 is off to such a rocky start and why players are abandoning the game. When Rocksteady announced Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League expectations were sky high. From the developers of the iconic Batman, Arkham series, fans were ready for another thrilling DC experience. The game looked promising with slick visuals, beloved characters like Harley Quinn and Deadshot, and a unique concept taking down the Justice League. Unfortunately, the launch was anything but smooth. The biggest issue, it leaned heavily on a games-as-a-service model. Gamers hoped for a story-driven action game, but they got something closer to Destiny or Avengers, a looter shooter with repetitive content and microtransactions. This alienated both casual players and die-hard DC fans. Season 3 launched, but instead of bringing players back, it's driven more of them away. Peak player count on Steam was just around 248, that's shockingly low for a Dayway title. Right now, fewer than 200 players are active. That's a catastrophic drop considering how much hype there was around the game initially. So what's causing this mass exodus? First, the lack of meaningful content. Season 3 introduced Lawless, an alternate universe character related to Deadshot. But it wasn't enough. The game's missions and gameplay loop are repetitive, offering little excitement to keep players engaged. Secondly, technical issues and lack of post-launch improvements. Despite updates, the game continues to suffer from bugs, lackluster mechanics, and uninspired level design, which have all contributed to players giving up. Now the big question, can Suicide Squad kill the Justice League recover? It's tough to say. While the game is far from unsalvageable, it would require drastic overhauls, better storytelling, improved content, and a complete shift away from the live service model. But with such a low player base, Rocksteady might be running out of time. It's sad to see such a promising game fall so hard. The gaming community is filled with disappointment, and unless some big changes happen soon, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League may end up as one of gaming's biggest missteps. What do you think? Is there hope for Suicide Squad? Kill the Justice League? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming news and deep dives into the industry's biggest stories.